Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and this is an update video of a previous video I've done demonstrating the use of the iPad keyboard dock with iPhones and iPod Touches. Well, I've gotten a lot of questions on whether or not the fourth generation iPod Touch works with the keyboard dock. And of course it does. So here I am going to show you exactly how well it works. Now the iPod is obviously very thin so it fits very nicely on this uh, dock right here. Now if you look from the side you can see that there is plenty of play here for the iPad to sit on this dock without damage. Now of course the iPad keyboard dock has this row of keys at the top that replicate some of the functions directly on the iPod itself. For example, we have the home key up here, and of course that takes us to search when we press it when we're on the home screen. Uh, if you do the search key, you get the same thing. We also have the brightness controls, brightness down and brightness up. We have the photo feature here, which only works on the iPad. The iPod screen goes dark, but nothing happens. We also have the keyboard, so if we want to invoke the virtual keyboard, all we have to do is tap that key. There is an empty key here that does nothing, and then we have the media controls, reverse, play, pause, forward. We also have the volume controls, mute, volume up, volume down. And we have the lock button. I should also point out that if you double tap the home key, you do get the app switcher in the bottom, so if you want to close an app, you do have to hold it and close them. Now many of the keyboard functions work exactly the same. Of course, if we go into notes, we can type a message. Works great. We can do Command A for select all. Command X to cut. Command V to paste. Of course, you could do Command C to copy as well. We also have a caps lock key that works on this. So that will allow us to type in all caps. We also can do Command A to select all, delete to delete. You can also use other controls like Command Z to undo. We also can use the arrow key, so if we type in text, we can use the arrow keys to navigate around the text. Now let's play some media. If we hit play, we can play some cold play. We can hit forward to go forward. We can also mute it. And if we want to go to the iPod, all we have to do is double tap the home key and go to the app switcher and it'll bring up the iPod. Let's go to Now Playing. And we can click Play. We can also go to Safari, so I'm going to type the search key. I'm just going to type in Safari. Let me turn off Caps Lock. You can't hit Enter to select. You do have to type to enter. Now when we're in Safari, we can go ahead and tap the address bar and type in something. So let's just type in CNN. Actually, let's type in Apple. So there you go, guys. This is Detroit Borg with a quick demonstration on how to use the iPad keyboard dock with the iPod Touch fourth generation. Thanks for watching.